Hi, I'm Chris Bray. I'm an adventurer and a photographer and so I often find myself in remote parts of the world and one of the big problems I find is keeping everything charged. My latest adventure was some arctic sailing with my girlfriend and I needed to find a way to keep all of our electronics charged on that trip as well and I decided to use Southwest Wind Power's uh, Air Breeze wind turbine and it worked really well. I was really surprised at how how effortlessly it just gave us power. Um, sometimes it was there cranking out up to 15 amps or more and it was awesome. You know, a lot of the problems I find people think about wind turbines is that you know you can put your hands in there and blend them off or um, that it makes a noise or it can overcharge your batteries or all these sort of problems but it actually wasn't too noisy at all compared to a lot of a lot of older ones that I've seen on other yachts this was quite quiet we designed the arch to put the wind turbine on top and we just made it high enough that you know just couldn't reach it even if I tried and the wind turbine has an auto braking feature so in really strong winds it just stops itself and so that's that's great you can actually install a little electric switch very easily which we did um, so if you ever want the the turbine to stop turning for any reason at all because you want to go and reach up in that part of the area or uh, maybe you're, you're at a wharf and you don't want kids to be able to put their hand in there or anything you can just flick the switch and it just stops electronically um, it also senses the battery voltage so it knows how much power to put in and if your batteries are already charged then it doesn't put any more power in there you know it's, it's really an intelligent system and we're really impressed with how, how easy it was to use so my girlfriend and I bought this little 29 foot junk rig yacht in Halifax uh, on the east coast of Canada and we then spent one full summer basically rebuilding and getting it ready for the Arctic uh, refiberglassing the whole deck uh, there was a lot of rotten wood fixed all that up completely redid the interior redid all the wiring everything a lot of a lot of work actually uh, and then this year we went back and installed the the wind turbine which was a very easy procedure installing our air breeze wind turbine which is awesome I've been waiting to do this for a long time we finally got our stainless steel arch up the back and our wind generator goes on the top of that top of that pole up there but it's very cool it's just like a like a Lego set you know it comes with all the pieces and you just put them all together it even comes with you know like the anti-corrosion stuff that you put on the threads before you put it all together so it's great just assembling it all and hopefully we'll get it up there and start making some electricity out of the wind like a glove look at that and then finally we were ready and we cast off and and sailed away and it was quite quite an amazing adventure really I mean we went all the way up the, the Canadian coast then across to Greenland and we got pretty smashed by a pretty serious storm on the way to Greenland and you know the wind turbine held up then it just just stopped spinning which was good um, got into Greenland went all the way up the Greenland coast through all the icebergs and poking bits of ice away with sticks and things like that um, and then across the top of Baffin Bay back across to Canada to um, Baffin Island and through the Northwest Passage and that was extraordinary as well all the wildlife like killer whales that came up to the boat and seals and all that kind of stuff polar bears as well uh, and then through down to Victoria Island which is where we've stopped for this year so we went through some pretty extreme conditions on that trip through the Arctic um, a lot of other things on the boat broke like the engine and, and all sorts of things but the air breeze, the wind turbine, just kept on going and going, you know. I never had to go out there and, and fix it or um, change any of the, the wires or anything like that. It just, it just did what it was supposed to do, which was great. One less thing to worry about. Inside the Northwest Passage, there's not all that many places you can stop for fuel, for example. So even though we had an alternator on our engine, as most yachts do, to give you power, um, you know, we couldn't afford to run the engine just to get power because we needed an awful lot of electricity to keep all of our systems running and it was fantastic just being able to have that uh, wind turbine up there constantly just pouring power into the batteries so we didn't ever have to worry about it. Uh, next year we'll be carrying on um, onwards towards Alaska and eventually back to Australia but we're in no hurry, we're just trying to get home as, as slowly as we can via all the coolest places we can think of.